Recently, Hurricane Ida made landfall in Louisiana in the United States and caused devastating damage with its wind and rain. Although the landfall was in Louisiana, the impacts of this hurricane extended miles beyond. The storm moved into northeastern United States, and by that time, it was only a tropical depression. But there was still a lot of rain that ended up causing deadly flooding in several cities and states. When most people think of extreme weather, they often think of hurricanes and tornadoes. However, in many cases, flooding can cause greater damage and can have longer lasting effects. So how does flooding happen? In today's Stimager video, we'll investigate how and why floods happen, and we'll talk about why floods can be so dangerous. Before I get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like all my videos, please give them a thumbs up. And be sure to share them with your family and friends. Now, back to today's topic. So what exactly is a flood? A flood occurs when there's an overwhelming amount of water on a piece of land that is usually dry. Floods can start in a variety of ways, including an area receiving a lot of heavy rain in a short period of time, or even storm surge from hurricanes. Floods are one of the most common natural disasters because they can happen anywhere at any time. That's right, anywhere. According to the World Health Organization, there are three different types of floods. Coastal floods, river floods, and flash floods. Coastal floods occur when water is pushed onto land by tropical cyclones. This push of water is commonly called a storm surge. Storm surge can bring a lot of water on shore. For example, the storm surge from Hurricane Katrina in 2005 pushed 27 feet of water into parts of Louisiana. That's a lot of water, and it caused a lot of damage. River floods occur when rivers overflow with water and the extra water flows onto the surrounding land. River floods are usually caused by very heavy rain or snow melt from the top of mountains that flow onto nearby rivers. Finally, flash floods can happen when there is a lot of rain that falls in a very short amount of time, like a few hours. According to the National Weather Service, flash floods can, can occur in places like low-lying areas, city streets, canyons, and even dry riverbeds. Flash floods can also occur if dams or levees fail. Flash flooding is an especially dangerous type of flooding because it can happen really fast and without warning. Now that we learned what floods are and how they happen, let's investigate where floods occur. While floods can technically happen anywhere, there are specific places where floods are more common. Coastal areas and areas called river floodplains are more likely to flood compared to other areas. According to the National Geographic, a river floodplain is an area of land near a river that stretches from the edge of the river to the outer edge of a nearby valley. High populated areas like cities are also at risk for flooding. Why you might ask? A large number of buildings, streets, and surfaces can prevent water from being absorbed directly into the ground. When a lot of water falls in a short amount of time, that can't be absorbed. It could cause something called runoff. The runoff usually goes into storm drains, but when there's a lot of rain, the drains can become blocked or full, which can cause flooding of nearby areas when the runoff has nowhere to go. Now that we've talked about where floods occur, let's investigate the impacts of floods. Floods have many impacts. They can cause loss of life, can cause injuries, and can cause damage property. One of the deadliest hazards of flooding is drowning. Did you know that according to the NOAA, it only takes about 6 inches of fast moving water to knock an adult off their feet, and even less for kids? The force of moving water is really powerful. In fact, the Weather Channel says that water flowing at 10 miles per hour can produce the same force as 300 mile per hour winds. Once a person is swept into fast-moving water, it puts them at risk for drowning. According to the National Geographic, most of the deaths from drowning are from cars trying to drive into floodwaters. 
Also, the NOAA says that it only takes about six inches of moving water to cause your car to float and possibly be swept away. Another dangerous impact of floods is injury. Flood waters, especially in flash floods, can carry debris and sharp objects which can hurt you. Finally, floods can cause damage to property. The water from floods can damage the structure of a house and the things inside it. Floods can also damage electrical equipment. The damage can cause power outages for days or even weeks. This means basic things you need won't work like lights, some types of stoves, your refrigerator, your microwave, and even your air conditioning. So now that you've learned all about floods, let's test your knowledge with the quiz question. According to History.com, what was the deadliest flood in history? Is it A, the 1938 Yellow River floods in China, B, the 1974 Bangladesh floods, C, the 1931 Yangtze River floods in China, or D, the 1939 Tianjin floods in China? If you said C, you are correct. The deadliest flood in history was in 1931 in the Yangtze River floods in China. The Yangtze River is a long and important river in China that supplies food and water to cities like Chongqing, Wuhan, Nanjing, and Shanghai. The flooding on this river caused more than 500,000 people to lose their homes and over 3.7 million people died due to drowning, disease, and starvation. This is just one of the many examples of the destruction and death caused by floods. Thanks for joining me in the STEM Edger Adventure. Please remember to drop a like and share this video and my channel with your friends and family. I'll see you soon in the next video.